In this video, I'm going to list out three effects that you need to know if you make music. Whether you're advanced or you are a noob, you need to know these effects down to a T or it is safe to say that you sound like ass. By the way, I need you to stick to the end of this video because I'm going to give you some bonuses at the end and these are unique. No one else on YouTube is going to tell you these things that I'm going to tell you. So make sure that you stick around to the end so that you can learn what no other musicians are learning. Effect 1, Auto-Tune. It has a horrible rep. Oh, you're so trash. You need Auto-Tune. Oh my god, your vocals are so drenched in Auto-Tune. You're a terrible singer only good artists can make music without auto-tune shut the fuck up not only do you sound stupid to experienced artists like myself but you're also going to look back on yourself and realize how cringe you sound in the future everyone uses auto-tune and if it's not auto-tune it's some sort of tuning to the vocals with how music is made nowadays there is no avoiding it pop it onto your voice tweak some knobs and you've completed the first step effect two Compression. Compression is important. Let's imagine for a second we're in a car. We play a song and the intro has the artist whispering, so we turn the volume on the song up so we can hear it. It's at a manageable volume, and since they're whispering, it doesn't really hurt our ears. And boom, they start screaming, and the volume increases by a measly 200%, and it's pierced through the skin of our eardrums. Lord, oh fucking lord, you have fallen victim to an artist who hasn't compressed their vocals. Compression's job is to take a vocal signal, and if the vocal signal gets too loud, aka it goes over the threshold it crunches the sound down so if you whisper your vocals are at a good volume but if you scream your vocals are still at a good volume we don't want a vocal that's changing volumes constantly it's not very pleasurable to listen now to. before i tell you the last effect and probably the most important one i want you to scroll down slightly on your page in the description and click one of the links there are four different links i want you to choose the one that you like now all i need you to know is that three of these links are free and one of them is not free the one that says it's a blueprint to music success is my music university you can go check it out if you have some money to spend but like i said the other three things are completely free so you might as well just go and get them effect three equalization equalization is how we take out the bad sounds of our voice and how we increase the good sounds in our voice your vocals are made up of thousands of different noises they're called frequencies you have low end mid and high end frequency as time has gone on we've learned that some of these frequencies are unpleasant some frequencies don't match with the beat that we're using some frequencies are just harsh on the ear some frequencies are good and we want more of them equalization is the process of modifying these frequencies to your liking one of the most notable eqs that you're going to do in pretty much every mix is a high pass filter that cuts out at about 60 hertz we know that most of the beats we use have 808s or some sort of bass these basses take a ton of the low end of your song so that means we don't also need low end of your voice if we have too much low end it's just really muddy and if you don't cut out the low end of your vocals that's what will happen so all we need to do is do a super harsh filter that looks something like this and cut it at about 60 hertz make sure that we still have some low mids and some mids in our vocal and we're good that is one simple eq that you should try and you'll pretty much always be doing it after you learn it if you want more videos like this comment on this video ideas that you want to see bye